What is going on guys, Corrosive Bullet here, and we are going to be doing a breakdown of the brand new banner that just released. Uh, this banner has been teased, I guess, for the past uh, day or two, um, and there was a lot of speculation in terms of what was coming out, but it turns out that it was this LF Kid Boo with an Angel Vachita from their final fight in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, very exciting stuff, I know a lot of people were uh, looking forward to getting another LF villain, so... Um, we're going to do a breakdown on these characters, go over the banners and the events that will be coming up uh, shortly, and uh, whatnot. So, uh, but before we uh, get in uh, to all of this, uh, just wanted to let you guys know that yes, I have been away. Yes, I have been sick for the past month and a half, uh, and that's why videos have not been going up as consistently as they were before last year. So if you want to uh, get an update in terms of what all that was about uh, I just posted up a video going over that so um, if you just want to get informed as to what was going on uh, go check out that video I'll have a link in the description for that but anyway let's ju let's just dive right in uh, so Kid Buu LF he's blue he's on regen absorption powerful opponent unknown In interesting but Is this just a tag full of just... I, I, I don't know. I've never seen that. That's weird. Um, so he's a range type. Um, let's look at... See what he does at max stars. Just to kind of see his stats. So, about 2.4 million health. Uh, 242,000 strike. Uh, 259, almost six, 260,000 blast attack. And 200 or 164 defenses. Defenses are very solid. Uh, blast attack is actually really, really good. Um, obviously, more than likely, you're going to get him maybe at three stars. And 200,000 at three stars is actually pretty decent. Two million health is a pretty decent um, for the star level there. So, uh, stat wise, he seems pretty good. Um, obviously, the more you pull, the more better he's going to be. So, um, Keep that in mind, but uh, for what we see here, for, for a two-star LF unit, like these stats are actually pretty decent. So, um, main ability: Wicked Majin draws an Ultimate Arts card, Destruction Blaster next, restores own health by 40% and key by 30. That's pretty standard. 40% uh, is actually a lot. Uh, that's uh, that's actually quite a bit of health, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, seals the enemy. Strike arts, the sealed arts can't be used for five counts, and cancels enemy attribute upgrades. So his main ability actually does quite a bit here. Um, not really surprising uh, from an LF unit, but uh, for for units like regen to have like these types of things, uh, it's not uncommon. So yeah, uh, pretty good main ability. Uh, unique ability, unfathomable evil, 25% damage inflicted against hands and regen. Okay. That's, that that can't be canceled. That's a little random. Sans makes sense. Regen his his own kind. That's okay. Um, applies the following effect when the battle starts. He immediately gains ninety percent damage inflicted, and immediately reduces thirty percent damage taken. And neither of those can be canceled. Plus, he can't get abnormal conditions for sixty timer counts. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that that's a pretty good ability just right out the gate. Um, so you're already talking, uh, 115, uh, percent to damage inflicted, um, going up against these two tags. That's pretty good. Uh, the following effects occur every four timer counts when this character's on the battlefield. Every four counts, he gains 30 key and inflicts 20 plus, uh, plus 20 percent of damage received on enemies for 15 timer counts. Every four counts. So, okay, so... 15 divided by 4. Obviously, that's not a, that's not a full number. Um, that's what? 3? Almost 4? You can have almost 4 of this buff at one time. Within 15 timer counts. So you're talking... You're talking 60% generally. Um, and within... If, with a potential overlap, you're talking 80% to damage received on your opponent on top of the 115% that you could be putting in. That's actually nuts. That's a really good solid ability. 
um, all in all. Plus the constantly gaining a key by 30 every four seconds. Like this guy doesn't really need card draw speed at this point. If he's gaining that, key, if he's getting key back that often, that's actually <laughs> actually really good. Um, unpredictable movements applies the following effects to self when this character evades an enemy attack with a vanishing step. Uh, randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards. So he so again plays into this. Doesn't really need draw, card draw speed. Um, with a uh, when the enemy vanish steps and you have three or fewer cards, not only do you gain one free card um, just because they did that, but 50% to vanish gauge recovery for 10 timer counts. That's pretty good. Um, the following effects occur when enemy switches characters while this character's on the battlefield. You draw a special art card next, not just once. Inflict all enemies with two sub counts. And inflicts all enemies with minus 20 to health restoration for 15 timer counts. Okay. Um, this, this kit's really good. <laughs> it's, this, 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 effect, this effect is definitely not as good as this effect. But all, like, all encompassing. Like this is actually a really solid like unique ability. And unique kit for this, uh, for this particular character. Um, it's really, he's, he's really good. Just ba based off kit alone. Uh, nothing interesting with strike. Um, he gets blast card arts card down minus three to blast arts cost for 15 timer counts. That's pretty good. Uh, he does Kamehameha, deals massive impact damage, randomly applies one of three of the following one to three. Wait, it randomly applies one to three of the following effects upon to self upon activation. Okay, that's different. Um, so there's RNG in this. Um, he has the potential to gain only 15% or 45% damage inflicted for 10 timer counts. So at best, you're talking 45... Yeah, what is that? 45 uh, plus 25 is 70 plus 90 is 160 percent damage inflicted <laughs> it's, it's this guy's just pounding on the damage um all right so nap time special skill restore own health by 15 percent that's pretty good uh restores own vantage gauge by 60 percent and happens four times that's pretty good 30 percent of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts okay so 190 percent damage potentially uh, increases own card art, art draw speed, card draw speed by one for 10 timer counts. He, I don't think he really needed this, but he gets it anyway. So again, cancels own attribute downgrades. This is a really good special skill. It does so much that that's really, that's really good. Uh, destruction blaster deals massive, this is ultimate skill, uh, deals massive impact damage. The following effects occur upon activation. Plus 50% to ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts. Nullifies enemy, restores health when it reaches zero effects when this character... Okay, and then blast, blast armor. All right, that's, that's relatively standard. That's relatively standard, so that doesn't surprise me. Um, and then he gets... And then you get uh, one of his held cards is... Uh, sustained damage up for blast. Blast arts, uh, which inflicts that, that downgrade. And then at max stars, you're talking at six stars. It's thirty percent to tag, uh, regen or powerful opponent base blast attack and defense, plus fifth and fifteen to regen strike attack. Okay, so he's a double attack buffer on top of buffing blast defense. Yeah, that's pretty good for his for his ability. Um, it sucks that it only boosts regen, but it makes sense as well. Um. Powerful opponent is slowly becoming like a really good uh, team. It's just a matter of it probably just needs a couple uh, units to kind of fill them out. Uh, this boo's good. This boo is really, really good. Um, I'm, I'm very excited to see him like in showcases and stuff. Uh, then the other character is we got the Angel Vachita. Uh, he's yellow, um, which uh, in terms of yellow Saiyans, um, yeah, we got... We got Zenkai uh, God Vachita, but he's more used for 
He's more used for God key as opposed to just straight up Saiyans. Um, from what I from what I remember seeing. Uh, so, yeah. Um, in terms of six stars, if you get him at six stars, he's over two million health. Uh, strike attack is 193. Uh, blast attack is 196. And then his defenses are 135 and 137. Relatively balanced. Uh, at max, he gets uh, 2.45 health. Uh, 225, 228 attack, and a 158 and 160 defense. Um, I will say both these units have really, really good defenses, all things considered. Um, this and uh, not to write, not to say that their attack isn't anything to write home about or bad by any means, um, but uh, both of their defenses are fantastic in my opinion. So, um, which is good. I think uh, I think seeing more characters that have more defensive stats is actually uh, something that's, in my opinion, I feel has been very lacking the past couple of months. So, uh, yeah, very, very cool. Um, un All right, so main ability, Undying Defiance. Restore ally health by 25%. That's pretty good. That's uh, Majin Buu's main uh, after you use Zenkai, I believe. Um, nullifies own unfavorable element factors for 30 timer counts. That's pretty good. Type... Uh, Type nullification or color nullification is actually is actually a nice ability, and the fact that it goes for 30 timer counts, sure. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus 50 to health restoration for 60 timer counts, and shorten ally substitute counts by five. Okay, that's a very solid main ability. Uh, can't complain about that. Um, I'm trying to think because obviously health re restoration. A color nullification. Uh, I'm trying to think of a red regen unit that he, that this guy would act, would actually benefit from fighting with this main ability. Um, uh, Janemba, Omega Shenron, maybe. I think Omega Shenron's regen. Um, Kid Buu. Yeah. So. He's got options. I don't know if this is—I don't know if this is applicable to many units, but it's still a very, very solid ability. Um, stalling for hope, unique ability reduces damage received from regen and powerful opponents by 20%. Okay, this guy is 100% designed to fight Kid Buu, <laughs> so that kind of answers that question. Uh, even though this doesn't really do anything with that, um, that can't be canceled, so that's good. Uh, applies the following effects to allies when this character is switched to standby. Restores health by 10% three times. Restores key by 50. 30% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Nullifies Goku's attribute downgrades for 10 timer counts. So is that meant to be paired with a Goku character? Like if a Goku... Yeah, when you're standby. So any Goku character gets uh, their downgrades nullified for 10 timer counts. Um, shortens ally tag Saiyan and tag Vegeta family substitution counts by one every time when hit with an enemy strike or blast attack. Well, this character is on the battlefield. All right, this is an all around okay ability. Um, it's kind of stagnant and all over the place, but I, the, this Vegeta is definitely meant to be more of a support type unit. Um, that being said, I know there's been a lot of talk. Um, in the community based off of uh, watching a lot of uh, videos in the community and looking up the uh, Dragon Ball Legends Reddit and just seeing people talk about things. Um, there's rumors, I guess, that the LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku could potentially be getting a Zenkai next. Um, if not next, then very soon. So I could see this greatly benefiting... I can see this greatly benefiting uh, that LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, and being green, that would actually fall in line pretty well with, uh, with you know, the team layout in terms of uh, color variety. So, yeah. Um, I, I think that's more or less what this is kind of alluding to, but we'll have to see, I guess. Um, the Princess Tenacity reduces enemy key by 50 when changing cover. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. 60% uh, of damage afflicted can't be stacked. So, okay, so this can't get canceled. But that, I mean, that's 60, 90% damage afflicted. He gets an additional reduced damage by 30% for 15 timer counts as well. So you're already talking. Um, 
if you're fighting these types of tags, then you're already getting a 50% uh, damage reduction. Um, increases damage inflicted according to the number of timer counts elapsed with the current character up to 60%. So three timer counts, he immediately gains 40% damage inflicted. And at six counts, he gets 60% damage inflicted. Uh, effects reset after character switch. So that's not bad. 60. The 60 is 120. Um, with uh, this being 30. But that's when he switches to standby, so doesn't really apply there. But still, um, just from this ability alone, he gains 120% damage inflicted increase, so that's actually not bad. Um, yeah, his kit's pretty solid. Um, definitely more support unit than anything else, but uh, still a very solid unit. Uh, will pre be pretty good on a Vegeta family tag, as well as um, if if the theory that everyone in the community is talking about is true, uh, then he will be paired pretty well with the uh, Super Saiyan 3 LF Goku. So we'll have to see with that going forward. Uh, nothing special with Striker Blast. Dynamic Throw deals major explode damage, inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade, minus one to art draw speed level for 15 timer counts. That's pretty good, um, considering that the meta at this point with a lot of characters is uh, art, uh, card draw speed. Uh, having abilities like this is actually decent, so I'm not going to complain about that. You are number one, plus 20% to damage inflicted by allies for 20 timer counts. Destroy all your own cards and randomly draw four new ones. That's straight up. Uh, green transforming Goku Black and cancel zone attribute downgrades. Uh, both of his cards do plus 30% to own key recovery for 10 timer counts, so that's pretty nice to have as well. Um, considering that uh, this guy doesn't have our card draw speed, um, being able to recover key at a decent rate, can't complain about that either. Um, Alright, so it's six stars. 30%, his Z ability is 30% to Saiyan of Vegeta family, both defenses. 35 at max level. Alright, so both these characters are pretty good. Um, Kid Buu definitely has the better kit, but this Vegeta is going to be a very, very good support unit. Um, so, yeah, I would say uh, these guys are worthwhile summons. Uh, now, in terms of the banner itself, um, I'm actually kind of surprised. Unfortunately, we are still stuck. Unfortunately, we are still stuck with this uh, ticket system. Um, with this ticket system, unfortunately, it sucks, but um, it's still the same rotation that it's been for the past couple step up banners, um, where it's all sparkings uh, and it's decreased rates for the LFs. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm hoping they change it, but uh, this is the type of the banner format setup. Um, I think what's nice about this though is that you're getting an extra ticket from this. So if you do, um, if you do like two and a half rotations on this banner, um, you'll actually be able to get the, uh, you'll actually be able to do a ticket summon, which is nice. Uh, I think in the past it was only three. So uh, in terms of the banner itself though, um, from what I see here, this is actually a worthwhile banner to actually summon on, um, at least for me anyway. Um, I can use copies of all of these LFs. Every single one of these I can use copies of. Um, he's at two stars for me. He's at two stars for me. He is one more pull away from seven stars, and he's going to be getting a Zenkai at some point. So um, I think this Goku's at three stars, so I can use more of him. Obviously, the new Boo I don't have, new Vegeta. Uh, this cell is good. Champa and Vados are really good. Um, Curlis is okay for movies. Um, movies doesn't really have much in the way of yellow except for Gogeta, and we all know <laughs> we all know how good slash bad that Gogeta can be. Um, and then the this Frieza got a Zenkai, and he he's okay. Um, in terms of filler unit uh, filler banners, um, this Metal Cooler's back. Goku Black's really good. These uh, these the Hybrid Saiyans are pretty good. Um, I don't have this metal cooler, so I definitely hope I pull a copy or two of him. Um, all in all, I mean, this this Trunks got a Zenkai, so, and his Zenkai is pretty good. It's actually really good. Um, Golden Freeze is still uh, alright. It's still pretty good damage-wise. This Freeze is okay. Um, the filler units in here are not worthwhile, but considering that they are well below 1%, um, 
summons. Um, and from what I've seen from uh, people's polls so far, uh, you don't really pull a whole lot of these guys unless you're doing the ticket summons. So, um, yeah, I think this is all in all a pretty solid banner, all things considering. So I would definitely recommend people, if you have the Chrono Crystals and are want, willing to uh, dive into this uh, banner, I would say doing a rotation wouldn't hurt just to see what happens. Um, and hopefully you get lucky. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be summoning on this. So, um, In terms of what it came back to, um, in terms of what came back on the summit banner, um, obviously we got the brand new Majin Vegeta or the uh, Kid Buu and Vegeta banner that just came out. Uh, 18's Awaken or Zenkai Awakening and Gogeta's have come back uh, so but do, and they are discounted so definitely do the da daily discounts if you haven't gotten these guys Zenkai Awakened yet because they are both very solid Zenkai Awakening units um, and then the surprising thing that I saw was that the Master Pack Z got a big update they incorporated four LFs into their summon pool so you got Piccolo Go uh Namek, Goku, Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, and Beerus. They added all of those to... Or actually, I think Beerus was already on this, but um, these three weren't. So it's nice that they're adding more LFs to this banner. And then they updated all the all the uh, units as well for the, some of the most, more recent Zenkai Awakenings. Um, so obviously you got these two, which are permanently back, and you can just summon on those um, and whatnot. Uh, you got... Uh, Gogeta, Bardock, Trunks, Goku, 18. A lot of the top tier Zenkai units uh, kind of on here. And then all in all, it's all the same stuff. So if you're missing units on this and you need more Z, uh, or if you need more, um, yeah, if you need more stars on these units to be able to Zenkai Awaken them, uh, it's good that this got updated. Uh, in terms of events, um, nothing really uh, crazy to talk about this week uh, from what I saw. Um, obviously, we're going to have a new raid with the new uh, going up against the new Vegeta, uh, an update to Super Scout Battle, and then upcoming is a Rising Battle Majin Buhan uh, event, which um, looks to me like you go through, you get a first clear, you get keys, and the keys will unlock uh, the keys will unlock the uh, I guess the missions uh, for said rising battle so it's very similar to the vegeta one or the coat vegeta rising battle um however i don't know if i looked wow okay i didn't even look at this guy's kit so let's go over this guy's kit and then we'll end the video uh but he's purple he's not red so this is the first rising battle that is not that is not a uh red unit so that's actually very surprising uh so at 14 stars he's regen absorption powerful opponent uh at max stats let's take a look he's just under 2.4 million health that's fine uh strike attack is okay blast attack is 240 that's actually really good um and then strike defense and blast defense is 156 and 158 really once again really good defenses uh for this unit um Main ability, go on with your silly fusion, it won't matter. Gradually restores own health each timer count for 40 timer counts. Changes own strike arts to blast arts. 50% uh, to the next blast arts damage inflicted and 50% to the next special move arts damage. Pretty good main ability for a rising battle unit. Uh, ultimate Majin Power applies the following effects to self every time this character uses a strike or a blast arts card. Uh, restores key by 10. 15% to damage inflicted. Uh, up to 150%? What? 150% to blast damage. Oh my god. Okay. Um, randomly draws one card, th does it three times. That's nuts. <laughs> now that's cancelable. But 150 damage is nuts, just to even think about it. It's every time he uses just an attack card. Like a basic attack card. Uh, I'll kill you soon enough. Applies the following effects to self from battle start for 50 timer counts. 60% to damage inflicted. Can't be canceled. 40% to key recovery is pretty good. And then nullify all downgrades and conditions. All right. Very basic you very basic hit, all things considered. Um, which is fine. 
uh, for, for a unit like this. But, I mean, that's that's pretty good. And then the fact that he gets an additional 60 on top of that. Plus, on, on the stacking on top of it, uh, the main ability, which is uh, pretty good. This guy's going to deal massive damage, uh, I have a feeling. We'll have to see how he is in practice. But um, this guy's going to be good on a regen team, I think. He's probably going to be a must. Because I can't think of a decent purple unit on regen at the, at the moment that's actually, like usable um at least off the top of my head so we'll see uh nothing with strike and blast uh mystic shooter deals major slice damage uh 40 of the damage inflicted for 10 timer counts upon activation that's fine uh barrier for special skill nullifies attack enemy attacks excluding certain moves like rising rush following effects occur if attacks are nullified knock back enemy to long range if they are at close range restores own key by 30 and 25 percent of damage Blast damage inflicted for 10 timer counts. And uh, arts with pursuit. So this is comboable, I guess, with those cards. Um, and then only downside. The only downside, he doesn't buff regen. He's a straight up color buffer. And at max stars, he, it's 30%. I mean, that's nothing to write home about. He's a double attacker buffer. So, um, so... I mean that's that's nice, but I kind of wish that it was. Uh, I kind of wish there was like a regen in there or something. But I guess with as much damage as this guy is capable of doing, I guess like buffing regen units might be a little much because that would buff himself too. But I, I don't know. Um, all in all, he's he, this guy seems pretty good. Not as good as the summonable units, but he is a pretty solid unit. So, all right, guys, I'm going well over the time that I wanted to spend on this uh, video. Um, again, thank you guys for uh, checking out the video and watching. Um, we will be returning with more Dragon Ball Legends content uh, very soon. And uh, we will definitely be doing a summon video. Won't be for another maybe day or so. Because I've just returned to the game after a five-month hiatus. So, or a five-month, five-week hiatus. So, uh... We are going to... I, I need to grind out some crystals and stuff. But, uh... Yeah, we're going to be summoning on the new banner. And uh, hopefully our luck uh, prevails. So, thank you guys again for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.